Okay, we're going to talk about four left turning tendencies of aircraft. Um, I've listed them here torque, gyroscopic precession, asymmetric thrust or P factor, and spiraling slipstream. Now, people commonly uh, mistake P factor for a general term for all four of these items, but it's not. Spir um, P factor is its own, it's merely one of the four left turning tendencies. So let's talk about torque first. Um, it's very simple to explain. I'm going to draw a propeller here. It's viewed from behind as if we were sitting behind it and uh, waiting to take off. The propeller is, of course, turning to the right or clockwise like this, um, if you're in North America at least. Most aircraft turn to the right. And we all know Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's all that torque is. The equal but opposite reaction from the turning propeller. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Easy. Gyroscopic precession. We all know what precession is um, in our instruments. It's the drift, right? Um, we have to correct our instruments for precession. Uh, the propeller is no different. It creates a precession of the aircraft as it uh, is generating thrust. How does it do that? Well, the easiest way to visualize it is to look at the propeller again from the cockpit standpoint. As thrust is generated forward, uh, so into the screen here, as it's generated here, the force felt is in the direction of the movement and 90 degrees ahead of that movement. So force generated this way. If we draw it from the top, we have our spinner here. Here comes our propeller. As force is generated in the direction of flight, force is felt 90 degrees ahead of the point it's, ge it's generated. So that is gyroscopic precession. Next, asymmetric thrust or P factor. Again, viewed from behind the propeller as if we were sitting in the cockpit. Propeller is turning to the right, clockwise. So the right side is the descending blade. The left is the ascending blade. Asymmetric thrust or P factor is only experienced at high angles of attack. Okay, so how does this work? The descending blade creates a higher angle of attack than the ascending blade. What does that do? Viewed from behind again, our propeller, I'm sorry, viewed from the top, the ascending blade, or this is our left and our right, the ascending blade creates thrust the descending blade creates more thrust. Higher angle of attack, more lift, more thrust, hence the left turning tendency. Again, once we level out, so if we are side view in cruise flight, they're identical or nearly identical. If we are in climb, flight, not identical. And this is where we generate asymmetric thrust or P factor. Descending blade, can't really draw it from the side view, but you get the idea here. Descending, ascending. Causing our airplane to go to the right. All right, let's get rid of all this. Last one is our spiraling slipstream. This one is pretty easy to understand. Need a pen? 
I'm going to draw a perfectly symmetrical, symmetrical wing with our cowling. And here is the back. Look at that elevator. Man, that's, <laughs> that is a short elevator. Okay, and there's our rudder. We are not glider pilots. We are powered airplane pilots. So here's our propeller. As the propeller is turning, it is generating a slipstream around the fuselage. Air is coming over and under and around this fuselage. As it does, it progresses until it hits the rudder. As it hits the rudder, which is a large surface area back here, it pushes the nose to the left. And of course, we have to counteract that by applying right rudder, bringing the nose back around to the right. So you can see with all of these, torque, gyroscopic precession, asymmetric thrust, spiraling slipstream are all contributing to our aircraft wanting to turn around here to the left. And unless we do something, unless we control this left turning, uh, we may run off the runway or whatever the case may be. Easy solution, right rudder, counteract that left turning tendency and everything is good to go. Hope this helped out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check back for more videos.